What's up everyone, my name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today I will be showing you an effect that can easily spice up your music videos. And this effect that we're going to cover is a screen shake and I remember years ago seeing this effect used really well in some Token music videos. If you don't know who Token is but you like hip hop you should definitely check him out. But in there he's got a lot of bassy songs so using a screen shake like this really helps amplify that, that feel, that rugged and aggressive nature of the song. So bring your music video footage into After Effects and let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is scale your footage up a bit. I scaled mine up to 115. That's because once the screen starts shaking, we don't wanna have black edges. You could add a motion tile to it, but it depends how much your screen's gonna shake. I'd rather not add motion tile because I don't wanna analyze the edges of my clip to see if a building or a tree is repeating itself in a weird way. So instead, I just scale it up. All right, scrub through your footage and find that beat hit or that certain movement that you want the screen to start shaking on and then make a cut. If you don't know how to make a cut, it's Control Shift D. Now scroll forward a few frames and make another cut. I did about five or six frames, but it's really just dependent on how long you want that screen shake to last. So now you should have a bass clip, the spot where you're gonna screen shake, and another bass clip. Now go to the transform properties for that layer that we just cut up. Now you're gonna hold Alt and click on the position stopwatch. This will allow us to type in an expression. We're gonna add the wiggle expression. So I typed in wiggle parentheses 20 comma 50 parentheses. Then you just click out of that and it will be applied. But this is the great part because you can customize that shake any way you want. You don't have to do 20 comma 50 if that's not what you want to do. The first number represents the frequency and the second number represents the amplitude. So if you want your screen shake to move faster, then you're going to want to raise that first number. If you want the screen shakes to be larger, then you're going to raise the second number. All right, and then on my clip specifically, I just moved forward a few more frames and added another screen shake because the artist is kind of dancing like that. So I just want to screen shake each movement, which is why I have that many layers on my comp. Now the finishing touches, we're just going to hold command and press A to highlight all of those layers, and then we're going to click on the motion blur. And then that's it, that's how you do the screen shake. It's super easy, but honestly it can add a ton of energy to a music video, especially a hip hop music video. So I hope this effect helped you guys and you guys can use it in your future projects if you haven't been. Then as always, if you replicate any of these effects that I'm teaching, I would love to see them if you want comment them in the comment section or tag me in them on social media at Big Vic Media. I would love to check it out. And then if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.